this is there's now another novel which uh, is due to be published with uh, with Aleph and this is this is actually a kind of historical fiction it's about a French priest more than 200 years ago who was looking for a route into Tibet you know this was a time when uh, it was a resurgence of Catholicism in Europe and people were trying to get new areas, new territories. So he actually traveled on foot and in the records it says armed only with a cross and a sextant and he came into what was then the Mishmi hills of Arunachal Pradesh, totally unescorted and he was killed there. So this is like recovering a little of our uh, lost histories. And also the person, the chief who, who allegedly had him killed was captured by the British. It was British India then and uh, taken to Dibrugar jail and hung. So I think he might have been one of the first tribal men to actually have been, you know, uh, hanged in jail. So this was a story I was following. So I have been doing quite a lot of running around. I went to Paris also to see the foreign missions from where this young Jesuit priest had come. And also I went into the Mishmi territory, of course, after the Paris visit because as the priest himself had written, you know, some, uh, he said undoubtedly, you know, this place, the place where he was is less corrupt than Paris. <laughs> so I was saying, it's easier to go to Paris than to, you know, the Mishmi Hills. It was uh, quite a long wait. I had to wait for the weather. I had to wait for transport and, you know, really getting to those border villages, that kind of thing. Oh, quite a lot of texts. I visited the, all the centers, like the Don Bosco centers in Shillong. I went to the Jesuit mission in Guwahati. And I just have, it is also an area of interest for me, you know, the spiritual belief. So I, I was also trying to compare from reading from his own notes, you know, what he felt about some of the tribal practices he had seen at that time. And uh, he was a very open, liberal, more like an ethnographic type of traveler, you know. So I found that very interesting and very moving. I thought this story should come back to life, hopefully. <laughs>